The Independent Election Monitoring Group have strongly condemned the violence and arson that overshadowed the River State Local Government elections. In a preliminary report, the group highlighted widespread irregularities, including the absence of election materials, non-use of electoral registers, and questionable result declarations. The executive director, while addressing newsmen in Abuja, criticized Governor Fubara for proceeding with the elections despite court rulings and security concerns. The group therefore recommended a thorough investigation into the arson attacks, the nullification of election results, the deployment of federal security force, and dialogue between the governor and opposition parties. To prevent further violence and ensure the safety of citizens, the federal government should deploy security forces, including the Nigerian Army and the DSS, to maintain peace in River State. The withdrawal of the Nigerian police from the election left a security vacuum, which was exploited by political thugs. Future elections must be conducted with proper security measures in place. Governor Fubara must engage in dialogue with opposition parties, civil society groups, and traditional rulers uh, to de-escalate the political tension in the state. A roundtable discussion should be organized to address the grievances of all political stakeholders and chart a way forward towards peaceful coexistence. Political reconciliation is crucial to prevent River State from descending into further violence. For the future of River State, and indeed Nigeria's democratic experiment, it is crucial that stakeholders at the levels work together to address the deep-seated issues that have emerged from this election. This includes reforming the electoral system, ensuring accountability for violent actions, and fostering a political culture where power is gained through the people's will and not through coercion, manipulation, or violence. In the words of former President Goodluck Jonathan, the political crisis in River State is reminiscent of the crisis in the old Western region. It is a warning sign of what could become a larger national issue if the political situation in River State is not addressed. It is the responsibility of all consigned parties including the federal government, to intervene and ensure that River State does not spiral into anarchy. Only through collective action can the state be returned to peace, stability, and genuine democratic governance.